John here and today onto the garage what we're looking at is Ruby's steady legs makes her sound like a bit of a seafarer so like a lot of motorhomes at the rear we have things called steady legs unlike a caravan these don't wide down and they're not for leveling the van what they do you push them away from you oops you push them down oops. it should there you go go all the way around and snap into position and you can push the leg down Oop. if it wasn't stuck There we go. And basically, oh, need some wood. <laughs> All this is there for is you put your foot on it, stretch it a little bit. It stops the back of the van rocking around in higher winds when you're on a site and gives you a more stable platform, if you like. So you can't push the van up and shouldn't be lifting it with them. There's no mechanism to do lifting. They literally push down and stay where they're put so they touch the ground now through a combination of probably age of my van 15 years old and slightly reduced suspension twang <laughs> um, and bad design what has happened is if you're on anything other than a perfectly flat surface which this is when you try to drop these legs, I'll simulate this for you. You try to deploy them like so, and they strike the ground because they're too long. Um, my van at the moment has got a bicycle in the back and there's bedding on the bed, but we're at home in all other regards, it's basically empty. So it's not because I've got a heavy load on and we are on a concrete pad and I can scuff that into position but in many circumstances that won't happen so you'd have to jack up the back of the van to be able to swing those out so yeah probably some suspension sag is um, to blame but you know if you deploy it it only deploys oops, about maybe three or four centimeters and there is about I guess 150 centimeters of leg that's deployable. So this is a piece of bad design on slightly too long a tower. And what I'm gonna to do today is remove this, clean it all up, and do a couple of subtle mods that enable this to be a little bit shorter for deploying without buggering around too much with the chassis or where it's mounted. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is get it off the van. And for that, you need a couple of 19 millimeter sockets. Got one on a breaker bar. And one on a ratchet. Let's see how we go. Oh, much easier than I anticipated. This bolt has a spring hooked over it that draws the um, leg back into position. So when you're pulling the bolt out, you're releasing some spring pressure. It's not hugely powerful, so you're not much risk, but just be aware there's a spring hooked over the bolt. the bracket it's a very tall bracket and not very substantial in that direction 
And I believe this is by intent because if you did drive away with these legs down and this was really well attached, you could damage the chassis. Whereas this is just going to bend and fold back out of the way and it's just a, a bad day rather than a disaster. There's these shapes here, these cutouts. When the leg is deployed, there's a, there's a square little notch that sits in there. And when it's folded up, it fits in there and you stretch the leg down to hook it into those two things. And here it is. That's the thing that hooks into those square holes. And you can see we've got a slotted hole here and you pull the leg out to drop this into the appropriate position. And there's a spring. And if I just maneuver it, that's a spring that's constantly pulling the, the outer of this towards its pivot point and therefore locking it in position. On the back here, you've got another spring that just works to lock. And as long as you're pressing down on this, you can extend the leg. But unless you're pressing down on this, you can't put the leg back. So what are we going to do? All I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the depth of this hole by a centimetre. I'm going to split this square slightly towards the notch, but not very far off, and fold one half of the metal in flush with the surface. You can't push it inside because there's a mechanism in there or foul. And the rest peel back until it sticks out. Do that on both sides. And I'm going to put a notch here, just because when it flips over, otherwise it will foul the mounting bolts that hold the bracket onto the van. And at the bottom, I'm just going to take the front edge and curl it up a little bit, again giving me some more clearance. That, and cleaning the whole thing up, is my little task. It won't take long, um, it's boring watching me drilling and spraying, so I'll now show you one I prepared earlier. So here is the fully modified steady. First thing is we've got this 20 degree kick up on the nose of the foot, just allows it to tuck under easier. Um, then this slot is one centimeter longer than it used to be. The detents on the side have been cut in half, one half knocked down, one half raised up, both sides, and at the top we've got, it's about 15 mil, but it only needs to be one centimetre cut out at the front. And with all those features in place, gives you a load of extra clearance. Reason for painting the bottom of the steady red is that it's an easy thing to forget to pull up. Anything that helps, helps. So um, yeah, that's quite a good, useful visual indicator that the steady is down. Reinstallation of this is pretty straightforward. The only trick, if there is one, is a little spring that pulls this back in its slot, you need access to that after it's installed. So, shorten the leg, then get hold of the spring and pull it out like so, so that you'll be able to get hold of it. Then, simply a case of offering it up, getting the bolt through the hole, pop 
the washer and nut on. Then pull it all the way back like so. Now all I've got to do is grab hold of this spring, twist and drop it onto the bolt. around the bolt so now should yeah be spring loaded back into position now just gonna tighten her up wheel as I'm back to front for correct use of the tools but I need the ground to uh, help me with this with the breaker bar. Ideally I'd be turning the nut, not the bolt. It'll make an awful lot of difference. As long as you've got washers on. Ooh. Remember this doesn't want to be tight, using a nylock bolt nut, using a nylock nut to stop it from coming back off, you're just going to take some of the play out of the bolt. There. Now, the whole thing rotates, still locks nicely into position. Looks neat, is effective. It's still only using a tiny bit of its travel. You can snap it up, pull down, and rotate it back into place. And these ears that I've bent here will give an even more secure location than the bumps that were there before. If you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.